Previously on the story of Rupert Robinson. You said to me a few days back that you've got a surprise for me. Uh, is, is it possible you can let me know what it is? Well, hello, my little cherubs. I'm Fart Magician, and welcome back to the story of Rupert Robinson. Today, we are going to go through a chapter number five. Chapter five. O'Connor, move your heifer. So hello everybody and welcome, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, we have just finished cutting the grass. Uh, there is something that I do need to do first and that is quickly pack away uh, the, the, the tent. And we do need to move this as well. We need to move it out of the way. Uh, so we can wash the tractor and the mower up. Uh, we'll just park it just by the house over here for now. Actually, we should park it in the, the newly fresh cut grass. That would be nice. Yeah, we'll park that there. There we go. We'll get the awning and everything out. Beautiful stuff. And if we just detach the trailer a second as well, we'll move the trailer out the way. There we go, and if we just pull the trailer back, there we go, right, that should be, that should be fine just there, okay, <laughs> right, so that should be fine for us to sleep in for tonight, let's, let's open up the, there we go, let's open up the door, so we can get in, I just need to find where I've put the keys, I've lost the keys, they're probably over there, I'll have a look for them in a second. But we do need to clean up the tractor and the mower. So let's get that done quickly. Uh, there was a hose pipe down here. And we do, we need to hire a skip as well. Uh, that is something that I'll have to make a phone call up in the morning. 
the skip company and uh, try and clear out some of this rubbish. Uh, so there's a hose here. If we just take that, we can now uh, give this a quick clean. Don't want to give it back to Kane Dirty. Well, at least now we're not we're not paying any rent, which is good. We, well, we weren't paying rent anyway, but um, yeah, we're not paying any any extra rent than what we should be paying. Uh, we've got somewhere to live. Do have a loan though that I need to pay back to uh, uh, to Uncle Pennybags at Tyrannosaurus Sense. That looks absolutely spiffing. That really does. Beautiful stuff. Right, let's uh, place this back. There we go. And, um, yeah, what I can do is, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take this back and we'll grab the other tractor ready for tomorrow. Uh, but before we do that, before we do that, let's just have a, a, a little walk around here a second. Massive rock there. Um, we've got quite a bit of silage here. Uh, so these tyres were stuff that I found in the house over there. Uh, well, it's not silage, it's chaff, isn't it? So we've got quite a bit of it. We do need to flatten it down. Um, I should have really, uh, mowed this section. Uh, but we can do that next time. Uh, but, yeah, as I was, uh, doing it, I was looking back at the drone footage and there's actually a pig farm over there. Uh, I don't know where the pigs are, but there's yeah, that, that's that's gonna be quite nice. Well, uh, I don't know, maybe 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 not. Uh, <laughs> imagine if we have a pig escape into our field, that'd be crazy. All right, let, let's bring it around here. I should really go and introduce myself to him, saying that we brought the property, um, and that we're gonna be camping here. Last thing that we want is uh, them phoning up the police thinking that they're squatters. But yeah, we're gonna take this back. Uh, we'll get the the large tractor, and we'll bring that back here. That should all be fine. Uh, it's, it's a nightmare getting down here. I may have to trim down some of these uh, trees and bushes because I don't want to break any machinery that comes down there, especially if it's mine. <laughs> so Kane has just sent our 150 pounds for today's work, which is good. Which is good. Uh, we're just bringing this back and then we are getting the larger tractor because we do need to compact the 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 silage well the chaff down uh, to make silage uh, so we can sell it which which will be fun to be honest uh, where can I place this it came from around here didn't it so we'll we'll go we'll go into yeah we'll turn around in the field over here uh, I will let him know that we are taking the tractor home for the night. He should be fine with that. Because he'll be making money on whatever we do anyway. I think he's make, making 20%. Which isn't too much. Still quite a bit, but... Turn that off, take the keys out. There we go, turn the lights on as well, and main lights, so we can see where we're going, and we'll head back down to the farm. I did completely forget how wide this tractor is. Uh, it's got dual root tyres on, so it's a bit going to be a bit tight getting down here. Uh, but I, I thought what what would be nice, what would be nice, is if we can um, somehow start a fire just to keep a little bit warm because we don't want to get cold in tonight. It is mid spring, but it, it's not it's not the hottest weather ever. So the best thing that we need to do is to find some um, firewood. But before we do that, before we do that, let's get this over by the silage pin. We don't want to run over the guide ropes. 
Uh, we'll get this over at the silage pit. And that will be ready for us in the morning. So we'll just bring it round here. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. We'll park that up. And turn her off and take the keys out. Nice. So yeah, I guess what we need to do, what we need to do is is look for some wood. Uh, so we can actually make a fire. That, that's that's the most important bit. I don't want to break any trees. Uh, yeah, maybe... Yeah, no. Is that bin bag? Probably? Look for some wood. Pipes. There's an extra tire for, from the pit. There's a piece of wood there. We'll grab that. Here. Yeah. We'll see if we can find any more wood whilst we are around here. Want to keep it warm tonight. Some tools there. Uh, someone's been drinking here as well. There's another piece there. Fantastic, fantastic. And I think one more piece should be fine. But look how beautiful it is around here. Look at the sunrise, the sun, sunrise, sunset. It is, it's, I, I really like it here. I'm not going to. It's it's amazing. Yep, there's some more here as well. Right. That one's a bit heavier. Oh, ah, there, no. We put that wall in my way. There we go, and we'll take this and we'll just place that here as well. And uh, we'll move the trailer a little bit further. Beautiful stuff, that should be fine just about there. Right, so I'm going to get this lit, hopefully. <laughs> and we'll, I'll, I'll come back to you when it's done. So I've had a few... Uh, I can't, I can't light it, um, oh, it's getting a bit chillier as well now, uh, let's try it again, and, yeah, oh, fantastic, there we go, we've got, we've got some heat, we've got some heat, we can start cooking tea, fantastic, fantastic, right, let's go and, let's go and have a little bit of sitting here, there we go, and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what's on TV, and then we'll probably turn in. So guys, it's nearly nine o'clock. I'm getting tired. Uh, so what we are gonna do? We, we're gonna we're gonna go into our little pod. Turn on the lights so we can get comfy. And um, yeah, we, we're gonna call it a night. We'll see you in the morning, guys. What's that? Hang on, hang on. No. No. Oh, no. 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 Um. No. Um. <laughs> no. um. Right, jump in here. Get in here. Close the door. Oh my god, guys, guys. Um. No, that's. That's not good. Just, um, I, I think there's. Oh no. Guys. Who's that? Um, right, let's go, uh, I think we should go and, uh, I, I don't know whether to go and check or not. Um, right, let's, let's go and check who's, who's there, um, get out of here or something. Maybe here, uh. 
Hello. Oh, Ryan, it's you. What are you doing out here? Well, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully they won't be back. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll make sure that I um, I put the fire out. Thank you. Right, so he's off now. We he, he, he heard the howling, the growling. <laughs> he uh, he probably meant to say that there was a little girl screaming, which was probably me, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, we need to put this out. Uh, let's go and get some water. From over here, uh, where is it? Round here. Uh, they, they're over here because of the warmth. Yeah, so we'll get some of the water. There we go, we've got some, and yeah, we'll pop that out. Hopefully. Are you going to go out? There we go. Uh, right, let's... Um, I am going to sleep in here, though, tonight, just in case. So, let's, let's get in. Alright, we'll turn that off. And, um, yeah... Right, hopefully, good night, we'll see you in the morning. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, it was quite a scary, a scary morning. Um, yeah, we had a pack of wolves uh, come to us, which isn't good, but we did have the fire on, so we do need to... We'll leave that there for now. Uh, but we do have some work that we need to get cracking on this morning before going over to the main farm for work. We do need to uh, compact the grass over here. So that's what we're going to get started with this morning. So we have nearly finished compacting down the chaff, the grass, uh, in the silage pit. Um, there's, there's quite a lot here to be honest, so hopefully we can make some decent money from this. Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking if, if we make £3,000, um, we'll be giving Kane uh, 600 if is 20%. Uh, so that, that's four days work basically that we're giving him as such which, which is fine he's letting us use his machines he's brought us this land uh, he's, he's literally giving us a fresh start and um, that's something that that's something that I wanted when when we moved to, to Ireland so I'm, I'm happy about that I'm happy about that uh, I'm still really concerned about what happened last night um, I don't know if it's worth buying um, buying a dog or maybe a T-Rex, I don't know, uh, just something to scare uh, the wolves away if there is any more around. I don't think they will be coming back. Ryan did, did scare them away with, um, with a shotgun, which is, <laughs> I know this is farming territory, so yeah, it, anything goes really. Um, he didn't get any of them though, he just shot the shotgun up into the air. Uh, probably would have woke up a few people, but hey-ho. <laughs> That's the best thing that I can say. 
Uh, we've still got an hour until we need to be in at work. Um, I'll just say another down and another up and then we should be fine on here. Uh, I am going to be phoning up for a skip to come so we can start clearing out the, the rubbish. Um, and then I need to find a way of knocking down the old the old house. Uh, that would always be a good start, right? I think that that is done successfully. Uh, good enoughly. I will turn off the lights because it is, it is now daytime. Doesn't it look beautiful out here though? Absolutely stunning. Right, let's uh, cover this up. There we go. Um, make sure that it is all in. That's something that I've been told to do as well by reading the book. That is all in. Perfect. Uh, so that is going to take quite a bit of time to turn to silage. So we'll just leave that there. Uh, we'll clean up the, the tractor and then we will take it back over to the main farm after we've had a little bit of breakfast. A little bit brekkie. But um, yeah, there's quite a lot of rubbish and rubble and everything around here that we do need to clean up. Uh, up yeah, let's, let's give the tractor a clean here a second. Go a nice, nice little clean. Awesome stuff. There we go, that looks beautiful. Alright, let's pop this back. There we go, yeah, so we've got a few few bits of wood, uh, quite a few tyres, uh, some rocks. Um, there's my bike. But yeah, quite a few things. Um, right, I'm going to pop and have some breakfast. Uh, I will quickly jump in the car and uh, close down the camping side of it. There we go, beautiful stuff. Yeah, so we'll see you after I've eaten. So I have just been looking on the internet the interweb on the line and I have found as as a skip company so I'm gonna quickly phone them up to book so I'm gonna call Skippy right here we go hello hi is this um is this Skippy Fantastic. Do you have any uh, skips available to hire today at all? Brilliant. Thank you so much. Uh, how much will that be roughly? Fantastic. Thank you, mate. Uh, I'll see you soon. Right. So just had a nice chat with Skippy. Uh, he is going to be bringing it around a skip later. That's kind of ironic name for him, really, isn't it? Skippy for a skip higher place. Right, so what we need to do, we need to take this over to the farm. And we need to get some work done, I guess. So we are at the main farm. We do need to go and check in with Kane to see what he wants us to do. So we're just going to pull into the plough a second. And we'll walk across. Beautiful stuff. Right, we'll turn the engine off here. Jump out. And, uh, knock, knock, knock. Good morning, Mr. Murphy. How are you doing today? Oh, fantastic. Um, what do you need us doing? So you want us to go down to Osmond O'Connor's farm. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Bring back some slurry. And do the two fields that you've done. Okay, right. We'll get that done and we'll speak to you soon. Right, okay. So we are going over to see Osmond O'Connor. Now that is quite a distance away, quite a long journey. 
Um, but Kane's already sorted out some uh, slurry to spread on the fields. Uh, so we've got the two fields that we planted. So yeah, we are right by Osmond's farm now. Uh, seems like there has been a bit of a flood here from when it last rained. So yeah, just round here. Uh, he's right here. Park up a second. We'll go and speak to him. Good morning, Osmond. How are you doing today? Ugh. So, uh, Kane sent me down here, uh, to get some slurry from you. <clears throat> yeah, slurry and a tanker. Um, I, I'm probably going to have to do two trips. <clears throat> Fantastic. Do you ever move from there? <clears throat> okay, brilliant. Uh, I'll, I'll jump in and grab the tanker. <clears throat> Right, so, um, Osmond's just said that he's gonna help. He's gonna, um, he's gonna bring the the big container down. So that's always good. We are turning off on into his farm. Just down here. Hopefully, I can make it in. There we go. It's a bit tight. Oh, there we go. So I do think there's a few things that I want to do on my grass. I, I, I want to keep doing silage for now because we have set up a bunker. Uh, I do also think that I should buy some fruit trees uh, and set up a mini orchard. That would be quite nice. It's like nice and easy for us just to keep mulling over so we can technically do our grass work on our days off uh, cut the grass then we can um, pick some apples on our days off as well and just slowly make money here and there um, there's one last little bit which I can't reach so we're going to have to go all the way down here oh there's a bit down here as well that's fine we can spin around, grab that little section, and then we can grab the section over there at the top edge. Done. And just here. Done. Right, 
hold that up. There we go, we'll drive that across to our farm. But yeah, we're getting a nice application, hopefully. Uh, can't really see it through the grass, but it is going on. Which is all grand, it's all good, it's all good. It's really bumpy around here, I didn't realise how bumpy it was. But this is going to help us grow the grass even longer. Uh, so we can get some more chaff to turn into uh, silage, which will be nice, it'll be grand. Uh, we're going to do two laps of the field, and then we'll do the up and downy rows. Um, on the way down, I did get a call from Skippy saying that Skip will be here uh, at some point between now and 12 o'clock. Um, they're just emptying it out from another job. But yeah, we're going to get cracking on this. So we'll see you in a few moments time. As we do see before, our Skippy has turned up. There is a skip just there uh, on the back of a lorry. Uh, so we are going to have to wait for a second before we finish this off. Um, and um, yeah, quickly go and talk to Skippy. Hello, Skippy. Thank you for bringing the skip. Uh, yeah, just, uh, well, we need to knock down this building just over here. There's a load of rubbish everywhere as well. Um, so somewhere near there would be fantastic. See you later. Alright, so we do have a skip just over here now. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we will be able to move some of this, some of this rubbish and uh, put it all in the skip and get rid of everything. That, that's what the plan is. Um, but yeah, we do need to finish off this field. So we'll quickly get that done. Come back in here. Uh, 
and yeah, uh, what we'll do uh, in the next vlog, we will be um, sorting out the rubbish, trying to get rid of as much of it as we can. Interesting stuff. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to try and start to demolish the house as well. Uh, giving us a little bit more land to work on. I don't mind living in the in the camper van, but at the moment I am a bit worried in case the wolves come back. Uh, so we may park it over at the main farm for now. Um, I think we need to buy a dog or something just to scare the wolves away. I would say a bear, but we probably couldn't afford a bear to be honest. <laughs> It's a little bit dangerous to have a bear. <laughs> but yeah, that is the plan for the next the next um, episode, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna get this done. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do uh, my my sign out. Just right here. So let's uh, bring the drone round. We'll have the drone in front of us and we'll do it whilst we're working. Because that's always a good thing to do. <laughs> right, well, guys, thank you so much for watching the vlog today. Uh, don't forget to. Um, yeah, don't forget to do what you need to do. And <laughs> what we'll do, we'll see you in the next one, guys. See you later. Goodbye. To be continued. Well, that does bring us to the end of chapter number five of the story of Rupert Robinson. Don't forget to tune back in next week at 6.30 for chapter number six. See you later, guys. Goodbye. I don't know what button I'm pressing next. So, yeah, uh, we'll see you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye.